Acid Audio 150 here, and today we're going to have a look at some random crap we've got. So, what have we got first? Ben 10 minifigure collection, actually, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien minifigure collection, series 1. And it says it's 6 centimeters, which is somewhat important, so we've got uh, Ben, Ultimate Swamp Fire, Water Hazard, Lord Star, Terra Spring, and Wrath. Let's see what we got. Can we open this thing? We need the skizzers for this. Yeah, that, that yeah. <laughs> everyone would like to have Ben in that program. Because, yeah, Ben 10 Alien Force was a complete mess of a show, and just had to know the show was a mess once, it, once the live action thing came out, really. Careful, look, kill yourself with the scissors. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's in the orange container of DOOM? It's... Oh, right. Big figure. We've got Wrath. Uh, he's got some kind of stand-like thing and... There's the figure itself. Da, da, da. Can we get him out of the package? Uh, get out of the packet. Right, there's his arm. Some of his arms already in the packet. Ugh. No, it's not. That's how it's meant to be. That goes like that. Does it? Yep. And for some reason he's got a hole that goes on his back. I have no clue that's that, but... Not in there. Get in there. Uh, and there we go. It's Raph from Venter. We... Yeah, that's quite a nicely detailed figure. And there's a sheet that just basically shows you how to build it up if you've completely branded it yet. Right, so we've got two of these, so we we'll got. Maybe there should have been an episode of Ben 10 where he got ripped in half by the 10 year old version. <laughs> it was a far better character. I didn't act like a boring 5 year, boring like 30 year old, even though he's what meant to be 16 or 17. <laughs> uh, what have we got this time? <laughs> Uh, we got the uh, we got Ben. Well, that's lame. Like that does look kind of funny. Oh, I have a walking pair of legs. <laughs> Ben's not really out to build up. He's in an amazing two pieces. <laughs> eh. He's got a backpack on for some reason. And a stick that goes right up, near, right up his back. I don't know his backside, but I think that would be a better place to put this idiot. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, the face on it. 
<laughs> he's completely bog eyed. He's like going, <gasps> I've got this thing with cards on the trip from the what? Duh, what do I do with this? Duh, I'm gonna just press this button now. Duh. It's here on time. Duh. Oh, I know it's another thing about these things, which is kind of weird. <laughs> And you can stack them on top of each other. I don't know what point it has, but you can do it, so yeah. And next item. Yeah, it's Meccano Series 1 Sitzaglet, a collection of Gears of War figures. It is 8 plus, yeah. Figures for eight year olds from a game which is about people swearing all the time and slicing each other into gory chunks with chainsaws. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? So, what weirdo and freak have we got in this? In a game which is well known for basically being just hide and seek with huge muscly men. <laughs> oh, yeah, that and anything like poo brown coloured and for some reason. Any colour that's not brown or grey is going to get banned from the game. Because that's Gears of War for you. Oh, what weirdo and freak have we got? There we go. Uh, I don't know. He's in bits, that's for sure. But <laughs> 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 right. Ah, we got we got Marcus Phoenix or Phoenix, whatever. Yeah, this is the main dude of Gears of War. He's just some dude who just looks like an idiot. <laughs> Also, just look at the pathetic little tiny head he's got. <laughs> he looks so angry and cross. He's like, I'm so angry and cross because my head is so small compared to the rest of my body. Now, what is it about again? I mean, that's my, my tiny heads and huge bodies. Oh, I'm at party. I'm fell out. Well, that's not a really good start, is it? <laughs> oh, it's gone back in. Right. There he is. And there's Marcus Phoenix. I'm sure it doesn't look half as good as the one on the packet. I mean, look, look at the one on the packet. Look. You see, look, it's got a way more detailed face than the actual figure has. It just looks a bit confused. I'll pick up my gun as a chainsaw, lance a chainsaw thingy in a jig and. Right. Right, yeah, next thing. Yeah, another one of these. Yeah, I've seen these before. Transformer, trio, micro changer. I think that we've got. Uh. We got. Hmm, not sure. What have we got this time? Have we got instructions? We got. Uh, Decepticon bludgeon. And Actually, I've just realised something. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. This is this is a very what's an interesting one to choose. It's actually the, the, the Pretenders lines. Yeah, this is basically a, I think it's, which I'm not sure why they're putting a line. I think they've completely ignored this guy exists, but yeah, Bludgeon's quite like your skeleton samurai. He isn't really a transformer as such. You see, he's all samurai swords, so that pretty much sums up how weird this other character is. So the legs go on there. Like that, he's got a bit of a weird shaped body. 
And they've got some panel thing that goes... He's got wheels that stick to his arm. Which is what the original bludgeon doesn't have. <laughs> He's got some kind of flamethrower. Actually, it doesn't make sense to think about flamethrower. Yeah, it does make sense to figure. That's a and he's got a skull, which looks very uncannily similar to a Lego skull, just slightly moulded differently. Because he does work with Lego, so yeah. He's even had horns, though, so and, and he's got a sword. Because why else would he not have a sword? He's a skeleton samurai. And you can transform him. Yep, this you can actually transform him. So can we do that? Yep, we can. Get rid of the sword. And there he is, transformed. When one of his wheels has come off. Yeah, he turns into a tank, which is actually what the actual original Pretender Tyrus was based off. He did turn into a, a, a tank. Yeah, he had a transform inside and that turned into a tank. Well, wasn't even that colour. <laughs> Alright, well, that was a nice present surprise. Alright, so, next item. Yeah. It's a red it's a red Akai card uh X Reader starter set one set well English yeah and this was a card game which was trying to copy Yu Gi Oh and you guessed it failed big time there are some interesting ideas that Yu Gi Oh doesn't have you know. a destruction sheet it's got some angry looking dude and a robot on the front. Of course, what else would it have on the front? Oh, yes, make something sensible. I'd expect that. Right, so here's the actual container itself. It's a uh, box oh, and it's got a card in it. It opens up like that. And this flips up for some reason. I can get it to open that. <laughs> And there's a card. As you can see, the cards in this, I don't know if it shows very well on camera, are a bit interesting. They're actually shiny and they're all bit, they're all in ticklies and they're kind of moving like a bit 3D and kind of interesting. And it comes with two packs of cards. I think these are special packs inserted in the thing. One's got some meta charged, contains X, contains 11 drive card, 11 drive card. Right. So both contain the same, so let's see what's in it. Ugh. If I can get the packet open. Da, 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 da. Taking forever. <laughs> what have we got? We've got right, well, we got Leo Leonir. Some kind of lion like guy. A Grendel who also looks like Leonir. And Mag Magnox. And this is, and that's M Maya. I don't know who she is, but what else have we got here? Uh, uh, horrific Blade. Yeah, it's even the cars. Horrific Blade. Sewage Slam. <laughs> that's a quality name, that. Titan Punch. Let's have some strange name. Uh, Kairu Destroyer. Cannon Fodder. Screaming Demon and choking fog and what you're supposed to do in this game is you're meant to get a mon get a card and you're meant to put one of these other ones on the top of it so it looks like that and that gives you the special rules of the card and it looks like that person's flinging that like magic attack or, or whatever you're going to want to call it it doesn't work that well with some cards is it? it's just like uh, well, that one it looks like she's just grown an extra pair of arms <laughs> right so let's see what's in the other packet <laughs> so 
what random monster weirdos have we got this time? Ocelot. Right. Now we're getting random wolves or Metal Gear Solid characters in as cards. <laughs> uh, Metanoid. He's on the front cover, so I guess he's important to land. Uh, what? S circuits. Mm, yeah, he's kind of a bit weird. Uh, Rhino. <laughs> yeah, it's just a stupid name. Oh, what ones have we got this time? Bone Crusher. Mm, so, these are a bit weird. A mental block. Shroud of Invisibility. Well, that's just a bubble. <laughs> Sensory Blur and Lightning Bolt. And we've also got some packs of these. I mean, it's a single pack, so it comes with an extra card. Of the same set called Meta Charged. Yeah, and this, this was a cartoon as well, which wasn't very good. <laughs> it's made by the same name, Gone Mitty Cartoon. It's completely ruined Gone Mitty, just plot wise, anyway. <laughs> yeah, Gone Mitty was better if it had a cartoon. So, what have we got? Uh, uh, Riptide. You may have played me as a react. See, I don't know the rules, so I don't know what that means, but it weird that he goes me. Oh. Five Blast 3DX Drive cards. It's only has five in it. I guess it's a normal booster pack, then. Right? Uh, get out of the packet! So we've got Supreme Uppercut. That's definitely a Mortal Kombat card there. <laughs> Screaming Demon. Warnet. Yeah, no, he's pretty. No, he's pretty awesome looking. Yeah, giant B person. That's what we're after. Uh, Leonor again, yeah, and another Warnet. This time it's a, it's a. Blue animal on it. Why is it just an animal? It's clearly an insect. Stupid game. Oh, this one had Leonair in the front of the packet. Then oh, we've got some spares. I've got him on the front. He's got me. You know the monsters you could have picked? You had the awesome ones like this guy. He could put on the cover of the packet, but you pick a boring looking one like him. Why? <laughs> We've got uh, vertical flight. Why are we supposed to show that as a power of weapon? Like stinging rays, some claws. Leonette. Org organ exploded. Yeah, that sounds pretty painful. Let's put that on that one. Yeah. Oh no, my organs are exploding. Ugh. <laughs> oh, this one's got metanoid on the front cover again. Alright, so we got another one of the invisibility shield. Hasty blow. <laughs> no, I don't know. Beam blast. Oh, that one's a gold one. I guess that means that's a rare card. And Lionair and, and Grendel again. Yeah, you can get quite a lot of that card. Da, 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 da. So we've got uh, halluc hallucination. Are we supposed to have a card that shows that really? Sir, Sir Quiz again. Metanoid again. We've got say, it's two different versions of the same. Uh, electrical supercharger version, which is obviously rare, and normal version, which you do look kind. Of, and there he is, throwing in a hallucination at someone, which doesn't make much sense, does it? <laughs> Well, these cards don't show up very well on the camera, but makes it look a lot better in real life. Oh, 
I don't know, on earth we're going to see a ridiculous fight of, of what old Marcus Phoenix would fight against Ben 10. Oh, Marcus Phoenix, I really go on real big hard. Oh, I'm, ten, I'm boring Ben. I can turn it in. Oh no, it's hero time. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, oh crap, he's, he's running up quickly right by the wall. Oh. Oh. Ah! 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 <laughs> ben 10 wins fatality. Yeah, if you're in the middle of a fight, hiding by the wall, you're being muscles, it's kind of stupid. <laughs>